Gary D Lab, and today I'm going to show you guys an old classic piece of test equipment. It's a Superior Instruments CR Bridge, the model 76, made in 1956. Let's see if it still works. All right, here's a close up on the front panel of the Superior Instruments model 76 bridge. Looks pretty decent cosmetically. I did get test leads with it. These look original with the little pin jacks. This looks like something that somebody made later. Measurements on this thing, it's about 11 by 7 by 4.5 or so. Everything looks original from what I can tell. These knobs all seem to match. Things operate smoothly. I betcha that it's operational. Well, I removed the chassis for inspection. You can see this is a three tube unit runs a 1626 rectifier. This here is a VT153 or a 12C8 and it has a magic eye tube which is a 1629. Pretty clean inside. It appears as though the filter cap is MIA. More than likely it's underneath. Let's take a look. As suspected there is a replacement filter cap and it looks like somebody's changed out all the other capacitors in this unit. Probably a good thing because I bet you they're all old drippy waxers. So let's get this thing powered up and see if it operates. Here we go, we'll power it up. I'm going to start out by checking a capacitor. I have a 0.1 microfarad cap here. So on the scale, if we're at 0.001 to 0.5, should be over in that area, right? So we're in bridge mode. Hook up our cap. And there it is. Adjust your dial. Yep, right there. You see the eye opening up? Pretty much right on 0.1 microfarad. So the other range here is 0.1 to 50. So if I go there, and point one's way over here. Let's see if it's there. Yep. Right on the money. Calibration looks good. Next, let's check a resistor. So now we need to go to the R1 or R100 scale and flip the leads. All right, so here is a typical resistance check. We're on R times one. I've got a 470 ohm resistor, old 10 center. So hopefully we'll be right up here with the 500. There she is. Just under 500. Now if I wanted to check a higher value resistor, got a 100K resistor here. Put that guy up. Now we're going to go to R times 100. So it should be right up in this area, right? There it is. little under what I'd expect. This is a 5% resistor. So calibration is not perfect, but you get the idea. The bridge is operational. So for the fun of it, I found an old crusty 22 microfarad cap in my collection. It's an old one, so I'm hoping that this thing will actually show us a failure. So this is an electrolytic, and in this case you use the power factor and there's actually a leakage switch. I don't have the manual on this thing, but I know they're available. All right, so let's bring up the dial. It's 22 microfarads. I'm hoping I'm in the range. It looks like it's measuring high, a little over 30 microfarad. And you got this power factor. You can see that influences the eye. I'm really not sure where to adjust that to, but it does say that it's only for the higher microfarad ranges. Okay. So the cap is measuring, and then they have this leakage button. So I'm assuming that if you hit leakage, you don't want the light to come on, you don't want this eye to change. But in this case, the leakage indicator is coming on, the eye is closing. I can't tell you if that's normal. I can only tell you that it's functioning. All right, it also has this tracer function. You can see the eyes open. When I plug in the lead, it goes nutso. So somehow, 
You use that to signal trace in old radios, I would assume. But the most value in this instrument is the bridge. Well, I did a little research on the web, and I was able to find sources for the original manual for this instrument, and here is the actual schematic, so I'm able to post that. But this is about the end of the free information that I could locate. So if you have one of these and you're looking for the info, it's out there, guys. Take a look. So there you have it, kind of a gee whiz video. But if you think about it, what a great old vintage instrument to have on your antique radio test bench. How many of you guys have actually seen one of these? It's the first time I've ran across one. I've been doing this stuff for over 40 years. Hope you liked it.